UWP in Grand Valley, one of the uh, UWP players shaken up after 27, a headshot. 27, Ben Aston. Ben Aston, a little bit shaken up. Looks like he's okay. Our EMT is down there right now checking on him. I really do wish, though, that they would not sit and this, they would not sit there. I wish they would go move away. Like, a little, little bit safer area, maybe. Yeah. 36 going down there for Grand Valley on a dropped blocking ball. That's a team catch. Team catch the there. Team catch, someone should Sander with in. the team catch. And uh, number seven, uh, Jake Real uh, comes back in. Number two goes out there for Grand Valley on like a short shot. Great communication, yeah. There are like two or three players down across in that one by Grand Valley. Oh, and a really solid shot there. Takes out Cypher, number 16 for UWP. Couple. Oni, number 30, also going out for UWP. Couple nice blocks by Hardgrove. And with the kill right there. Number 68, it's Ryan Hardgrove. UWP with a couple really nice kills there. Great Kills attempt at a catch. Seven. Takes out number 12, or is that 17? Takes out uh, Zach, Gen, Gen, that's uh, Jensema. Jensema, yeah, Jensema. Tony's got a gun. Higby's got a gun. Too. Uh, and that's Stoffel, number 11, going down there on an attempt to catch. It's not, not the kind of player you want to lose. 89 Chapel with a near miss from UWP. John, I think one point you have to keep in mind if you're a team that has a chance to compete on Sunday is you don't want to burn yourself out with these early Saturday games. No, nope, no, nope, you don't. And, you know, sometimes, you know, some players who play on Sunday, like once you're done your Saturday pool play, some players will complain about, like, their like their upper arm, like their tricep and bicep, like, of, like, tear, like tiredness, like, soreness. Fatigue. And then some other players, like me, it's my hands, hands yeah. that, like, are so worn down from gripping. Uh, Xander goes down 93, but not before taking out number 10, Spears of Grand Valley. Oh, and 13. Nice. That's Harding there with the kill. And I believe we have Grand Valley again down to a 10-second shot clock. So quietly, Grand Valley has been whittled down. UWP with two players remaining. Chappelle and, uh, I believe, and I, He just Harding. takes out 81 and... Suddenly it's four to two. I know four Chapel, to two. Chapel just went out, but it's one on four right now. And that'll be a uh, balls over. Unfortunately, Harding has to give the balls up. See if he can make a catch here. If he can get yeah. one catch, this whole point swings. Let's see if he can do it right here. I'll tell Number you what, man, UW, Harding. UWP with some. I I just could not be more impressed from a team that was not very talked about coming into Saturday, who only had two games against two teams who are not very thought to be powerhouses in the league, who aren't even here. Yeah. They had two matches I've been very impressed so far. And there goes Harding. Yeah, Harding gets Nick there on the out. shoulder. Good so that'll be a, uh, let's see, I believe that is a 5 nothing lead now for Grand Valley with uh, 11.28 left in this half. We will be back here in just a few moments with point number six.